Hey everybody, it's Mark. It's September 23rd, 2013, and uh, I'm back in the hot zone today after a heavy night of rains. The ground is extremely saturated here. I don't have the sun really hitting in my face, so I'm happy about that. I'm currently on the uh, above the nest. It is still here, even after the big floods. Doesn't look like this area was affected at all. The inside of the nest is dry, dry compared to the saturated ground out here right now. Been in the park about 40 minutes. I haven't got uh, any kind of action, rock clacking or anything going on oh, from up where we had it last time, last video. So I'm um, just kind of poking around, see what I can come up with. Uh, on top of uh, the ground being very, very moist, these rocks are very, very slick too, so. Nice cool morning. Um, I'm going to test my zoom real here because it's been acting up this morning. It sometimes does that. But at least I don't have the sun in my face today. Anyways, um, it doesn't look like there's been a whole lot of activity here at the, uh, at this nest. It weathered the floods, the storm, the heavy rain. We've been getting no problem, no problem. See, it doesn't even look like the water has affected anything. You know, it doesn't look like it's come tearing down this hill, caused any kind of a slide or anything. We're going to go see what that is up there. But uh, I wanted to start here this morning because it's, it's nice and cool. I even have a nice breeze that's blowing through the trees, which is making it kind of hard to hear. Um, if there's anything, you can kind of hear that. If there's anything moving, it's kind of loud, so I can't really hear too well. But uh, I wanted to come and check this nest because I didn't check it after the floods. This is the one I didn't. But uh, it weathered nice. Um, if they have been here and utilizing it, it was perfect because, uh, as you can see, it's nice and dry in there. Nice and dry. All that uh, rain that we've been getting, all that moisture, it uh it weathered it just nicely excellent place to lay up and stay in there it doesn't even look like it came through one side it's nice and dry in there i love uh i love this forest after a good rain because uh it's a lot like a rainforest everything's dewy and wet right now so i like that I wanted to go up, work along. Um, it's really rough up here. I'm gonna try and stabilize the camera the best that I can. Um, but, you know, we wanna get to where that rock clacking was coming from in the uh, Stargazer video. I can lightly hear maybe something whooping, lightly. I haven't seen any deer this morning at all. Any critters. Everything is so wet, saturated. Oh. Has they been messing up here? This 
little cave here, see. But looks like they may have been playing with sticks up here. It's hard to say. Anyways, it, uh, you know, in a canyon, you never know with the flash flooding that happened, what's gonna get washed away. And, uh, you know, as you can see, they built this on a hill. You have ravines on each side of the hill. So the water naturally will, will hit those ravines coming off the canyon. I'm all decked out in camo today, all decked out. So, I may throw them a little curveball. They've never seen me dress like this before. I usually just wear blue jeans and sweatshirt, but uh, I put on all my, uh, my survivor man gear today. <laughs> Little cave. Looks like the entrance may be blocked a little. <sighs> really hard to get up to that one too. Ah, uh, mistake, human mistake I made today. Forgot the tape measure. So, you can see the uh, back of the heel. There, right there is a print now. It's considerably bigger than mine. Especially if I put the uh, the toe. Oh, let's take a look at this. See. Looks like the heel hit the back. Came up. Nice flat print too. You got the heel way back here. Boom. Came up. And I don't have the uh Tape measure, darn it. Oh well. It happens. You always forget something. Anyways, tree's been knocked down. Make a tree blind nest over an overhang. 
main nest over there. Got a print here. If judging by the toe, he's moving up this direction here. Maybe. It's fresh too. It was made as soon as last night because like I said, it's all muddy, very moist ground. So it was moving maybe uphill along the canyon wall. What better place to ride out the storm than a cave? That's a pretty, pretty good print. I'm happy with that. I still, still, you don't get all five toes here a lot of times, which is kind of disappointing. Okay, I'm up along the canyon wall, as you can see. <gasps> Now, something about the, the wind is blowing, so um, it's making trees move back and forth. And so out of my peripheral, I'm, I'm thinking I sometimes see something, a dark shadow move. And then once I realize it's this wind kicking up, it's, uh, it's blowing a tree back and forth. So, okay, I'm not gonna stop my heart there for a second. <laughs> print of its kind. So unusual that you find a print all by itself with no secondary or third to show maybe there was a stride somewhere. There's nothing. Okay, I'm up along the top now. See, he can just zip up the top of the canyon there and gone. A little dangerous in here. Oh shit. I just walked into a cave. Hold on. Big cave too. Look at this. Gotta be so careful coming up along this canyon. Oh my god. Alright. Oh see I really don't have if something comes charging out of there, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Whoop! Look at that. I'm gonna try getting the camera to focus in there. Okay, 
there's nothing in there wow so excellent excellent cave wow now I know nothing's in there let's try and see if we find any evidence that they've been in here gathered nothing uh nothing major I don't know what that wet spot is right there excellent little cave though to hide from the rain through the night out uh, see up along the canyon here a, a big seven to eight footer he can be standing right here on this rock, overlooking, watching me as I move along, do my thing. Here's a little rock here. I'm gonna see if I can get a response. It's too damp. Interesting cave though, huh? <laughs> it's really slippery up in here too. Buddy, look at this cave here. Look at that. I don't think a big 800 pounder is going to squeeze through that side. But, uh, you know, this is up where that rock clacking was coming from. You know, I was down there. And I said, yeah, he's on top of the canyon. He's clacking rocks at me. Oh, whoa, what is that over there? Come on, camera, don't fail me. Okay, it's the base of the tree. Anyways, look at this. Totally cool cave. You can just sit right there on that rock. Gives me a little bit of an idea the inner workings of this group. Because they can, like I said, oversee or listen. You know, most most times I'm working along about 50 yards down working along where it's not so steep. And uh you know, now I, I move up along the wall and uh, I got some excellent caves here. I am almost a hundred percent sure that that was rock clacking in the uh, Stargazer video. He was watching me at the bone where I found the, the bone. No question about it. He was watching me. Close to the nest. I'm a little bit jumpy this morning. I had a really good feeling coming out here because it's nice and cool. Wow, there's just no good way to move around here.
I'm going to have to uh, backtrack a little bit. I'm getting myself in a precarious position here on top of the cliff. <clears throat> See the thing about working along a canyon like this with all the scrub brush you come to a point where you can't go any further I mean you could but not with a camera in your hand mm. Sorry about that. As they were saying the other day, they'd rather have 30 minutes of unedited video than eight minutes of edited, so, you know. We'll leave it at that. Still haven't been able to pick up another track off that one. where that cave is up there completely hidden too so you can't even see it there it is again okay let's go behind it so you have this Not a single whoop, clack this morning at all. It had been a hard night of sleeping, trying to sleep through that rainstorm.
have I seen this before? Um, no, I have not seen this. Now, yeah, I did. It's been moved. Okay. Now, I cut a picture, a still, over here, and I got a footprint, too. Possible. I cut a picture a couple weeks ago of this tree, about nine foot break. It's been broken and twisted. I took it from over there. Remember the deer, he followed me. Followed me from over there and peeked out, came out once I called to him, which is a pretty cool thing to get on film. But anyways, I was right here and I had dual tree breaks. Now, if you remember, and I, I'll release the picture, I had two trees that were diagonally next to each other, right here, and there was a, this one right here. And they were like making two V's down towards the ground. I was took the picture from that way, but I did show this. That other tree has been taken down, that other break, and they did this. Look at this. So see, this, remember it had a slant. It had like a slant of a break into it. So they have been in here, look. It had like a slant. Let's see if I can find the, the, the break that had a slant. It had like two breaks in it. It was like two, two, yeah, he broke it off. See that it was slanted. It was right across from this break. So now I have it. He completely knocked it down, completely uprooted this tree. So they did come through here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So I'm looking around. I can see that. Because then I go over here. I mean, they just. See what he did? Now look here. They always lay something ab across the base of the tree for whatever reason. Like they're trying to hold it down. So this one, he came up. And for whatever reason brought that one down. And blocked it down there too. Here I want to... I wonder what the symbology of that is. What that means. Because, see, I was over here. There we go. So, see, there's got to be a print in here, a good one. Right on. So, they have been in here and here. See, I love it when you come back, you notice something that they did that wasn't there before. See, I took the picture from right here, right there. If you remember, that other tree was right across from it. And I had mentioned that they were diagonally the same height. And it had 